Hey guys, welcome back to the show today. I am so glad that you have joined me. And for those of you who are new to the show, my name is Kim Narker and I am a PTA that stepped away and now am a stretch mobility coach. And I am a level four stretch mobility coach. And what that means is I train PTAs like you to become stretch mobility coaches. And I give you an opportunity to step away from your career and start earning six figures. And today I want to talk about when a PTA needs to step away from their clinical job and why most of you fail to advance and how waiting can actually cause you to lose more time, more money, and autonomy. So guys, I'm going to start with that many of us are dreamers. In fact, most of my life, I was not taken seriously at all because people labeled me as a dreamer. There are no shortage of dreamers in the PTA field. In fact, dreamers can become some of the most successful people in the world. In fact, here are a few people that were known as dreamers. So of our founding fathers, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams attributed the philosophy contained within the Declaration of Independence to their dreams. Albert Einstein ascribed the theory of relativity to a dream he had as a young boy. Thomas Edison credited his discovery of electricity to his dreams. Colonel Harold Dixon made history's biggest oil discovery, which later became the Kuwait Oil Company, based on guidance illuminated in his dream. Elias Howe sourced his invention of the sewing machine in his dreams. Dr. Frederick Banting discovered insulin in his dreams and won a Nobel Prize. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein was inspired by her dreams, her actual nightmares. And a dream led Otto Lowelly to a Nobel Prize for his contribution to medicine. And I think I messed up his name. The planet Uranus was discovered by William Herschel in a dream. So many more. I mean, people you've heard of that are like in today's world. Bob Dylan composed music from his dreams. Paul McCartney praised his dreams for his multi-platinum song yesterday. Jeff Taylor dreamed of his patent on Monster.com. The movie Avatar was dreamed in vivid detail by director James Cameron. And the Twilight series was dreamed by stay-at-home mom Stephanie Meyer. And guys, this list goes on. Many of us are dreamers and we hope, we wish, we pray that one day we will achieve our personal goals. And though our personal goals are nothing like what some of those dreams were, many of us are just looking for financial freedom. We're looking for clinical outcomes and we're looking for autonomy. And many of us have a lack of information which calls us to feel stuck. And I feel that, guys. I have felt stuck many times in my career. I've been there many, many times. But the difference in me and those PTAs that fail to launch and move forward is that I don't sit back and hope and pray that my career will advance. In fact, I make it advance and I follow my dreams. Now, those who can make a decision quickly and get started working are the big money makers that gain financial freedoms. And others are going to search. They're going to research and research more and spend countless hours and months and even years looking for reasons why they shouldn't move forward. And usually, this person doesn't make the big money. Now, most of these people fall into a space of lacking clarity. When you lack clarity, you're not able to move towards a goal. It actually will hinder you from predicting what your income is going to be. And if you fall into this category, here are three questions you can ask yourself today. Number one is, do you know what you want? Or, do you know what you don't want, but you don't know how to get what you want? Or is it both of these? Anytime that I'm having trouble meeting goals or I'm feeling stuck in something, I look at what are the areas that are not currently working for me. And these areas are what I need to focus on fixing. And once I determine them, I get to learning quickly so that I can clear things up and stop, start moving forward. And you may be thinking, why move quickly, right? Well, I move quickly 
Because once I figure out that I need to move forward, there's nothing stopping me until I fix the problem because in my mind, I'm actually losing money and time freedom. The problem with many of us is that this includes me, okay, when I was in my clinical role, is we're very nice. We're very patient. We give more than we take, and others love this about us. They love how we care. They love how we're dedicated, how we help them. And these people actually see value in our expertise, and they value the time we provide to them. And here is where many of us fail to launch. We don't know what we don't know. We lack commitment because we lack confidence, especially when it falls outside our PTA license. And many of you don't know what you want. And there's nothing wrong with not knowing what you want. Or you know what you want, but you don't see clarity around what it is you want. So you settle for what you have right now. And I've spoken to, gosh, over 200 PTAs since the beginning of me offering my program out. And what I hear the most is, I'm planning on doing this next year or when I'm in a more stable place or when my husband gets this or when my kids are older or so we settle for those reasons. How do you break free from this cycle and finally gain clinical freedom, financial freedom and autonomy right now? And what are you losing if you're waiting to three months from now or waiting to a year or, or maybe in five years. Here are the things you need to advance. And these are proven things that PTAs need. Number one, you need to find out what you need. And for most of us, it is a skill. It is a service offering that is not PT. We need to align with our license. We need to understand our laws and rules. And once you know that, then it's where do I find this skill? And trust me, you're not going to find it on the PT side because you can't sell physical therapy without a PT. So you're going to need another skill, but what skill is going to align with your PTA license? And then you need to take immediate action so that you don't lose more time and money. Get started doing the actual work that's going to move you forward so that you can achieve your goals. And once you have what you're missing, waiting is only losing money for you. The best time to take a leap is when you don't have the money. Why? Because you don't have anything to lose, right? Most people think, I don't have the money, so I need to wait to earn the money. And this is not unlike when you are a couple deciding when you should start your family. And the conversation is usually, should we wait until we make a lot of money because kids cost a lot or should we just go for it? And I understand thoroughly that these are all personal decisions and I am in no way saying that my way is the way for you. But when it comes to advancing your career every day that you are not advancing, you are actually losing money and losing personal autonomy and satisfaction, and life is just far too short to wait. Now, what you need to be successful quickly as a PTA is you need to have an advanced skill that aligns with your license, and this is the tricky part. When you go at it alone, there are many people that are going to give you advice, and they will say to go for it, and it's okay, but I have found, I have found that this to be the hardest part. This is where I have spent most of my 11 years working with attorneys and more to gain clarity. And I have that clarity now that I didn't have years before. The second thing that you're going to need is a service offering that is not PT related. After that, you're going to need proven marketing, sales, and systems that works. And guys, it's not enough to understand marketing. It's not enough to understand sales and our license. You have to actually understand how all of this works. In order to earn $10,000 or more in your first month of business, you're going to need a proven strategy. Most of us think, oh, it's going to happen. And then you get through that first month and you've lost money and you're like, well, what do I do wrong? And then you have to define what you did wrong and get up, try again. And then that continuous cycle happens over and over and over again. That's why many PTAs fail at business. That's why many people in the first seven years, non-PTA fail 
in business. When you have access to a strategy, a service offering, a title that is not PT, and you have a different skill and it aligns with your license and you have support and you have guidance and you have mentorship and you have a proven formula that's going to allow you to make over 10,000 a month. What is holding you back from advancing your career? For many people, and this may be you, it may be time and it may be money. And if these are your reasons, you need to break down what you are losing financially and what time freedoms you are lacking because of not moving forward. And there's a simple formula to calculate both of these. And if you want this formula and you want me to walk you through it, I'm happy to. Go ahead and schedule a call with me. It won't take us very long to go through this formula to see what you're losing because sometimes it's just hard to see because... When you're in your day-to-day -day life and you don't have a proven plan, you just go with the flow and it ends up being six months or one year or three years or five years and money compounds over time. We know this when we're working with our financial planners. So if you're waiting three months, that's $30,000. If you're going to make $10,000, that's $30,000 that you have lost in time and money. And if you're doing $10,000 and you're only working 25 hours a week, you're losing 15 hours a week over a three-month period. So you can kind of see how you're losing out here. Now, if you really want to dig into this formula, then I'll put a link below for you to schedule a call with me. And it won't take us long. We can go through this calculator. We can see what you're losing, what you'll gain, what the cost is, and kind of break things down for you, if that's helpful for you. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope that you found this episode helpful, and I hope that it can get you moving forward towards your career so that you can make more money, gain financial freedom, time freedom, autonomy, and clinical freedom. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next week.